Hello. Hi. Okay. Sorry. I'm back. Okay. Perdón, okay. pero me, me quedé sin internet. Pero ya nos estamos pasando aquí con el teléfono. Pero no sé qué pasó. No hay internet en la zona, maybe. Okay. Anyways. Let's begin. Let's start. Let's continue. Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yes, now it's loaded. Okay, this is the video that we watched yesterday. This was the reading, right? Okay, remember uh, the reading yesterday we have, for example, to get exercise, what do we need? Eat breakfast, protect your skin, go for a walk or a stretch for five minutes. Oh. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. All right, this was the one. Uh, to help your bones, you need what? Get enough calcium. Uh, get, no calcium. get enough calcium. That's correct. Okay. And to help your muscles, stretch for stretch. five minutes. For, stretch for five, for five minutes. minutes. Okay, and to keep your gums healthy. Close your teeth. Close your teeth, right? Close your teeth. Okay, good. And the number five? Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. And to challenge your brain? Do a crossword or read a new book. Or read a new book. Okay. Let's see. All of them are correct. Okay, to challenge your brain, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. To have energy for the morning, eat breakfast. To keep your gums healthy, wash your teeth. And to help your muscles, a stretch for five minutes. To help your bones, get enough calcium. And to get exercise, go for a walk. Okay, good. Now, questions about vocabulary or expression from here, people? No, no questions? About vocabulary or expression? Okay. No questions. Good. Teacher, have a question. Que es bone? Bone? Bones. 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 Bon? Huesos. Okay. Thank Bones, you. Bones, huesos. Yes. Okay. What else? Okay. Uh, here we finish section two. Okay, now we are going to start section three. Okay, the section three is a little bit different from the other one with the new vocabulary, new situations, right? So, le voy a dar un tiempito para que se asimilen la sección dos y mañana al iniciar vamos a trabajar en grupo, unos diez minutos, practicando, por ejemplo, when, uh, whenever I feel bad, I do this, okay? Usando el vocabulario que se, tiene, eh, que se refiere a la salud, the health, okay? And the imperatives. For example, if you have, if you have problems with your heart, don't drink too much coffee. Don't uh, do too much exercise, okay? 
Ese vocabulario es el que vamos a practicar mañana en grupos, ¿ok? De lo, okay. Que, de lo que hemos estado viendo, así que para que lo practiquen durante el día, ¿ok? And right now, we are going to begin with the les uh, lesson objective for the section three, ¿ok? Uh, let me see, Dinora, can you please read this objective here? Okay. Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for a store and other place. And this course where you can get different things. Okay, good. So then we're going to talk about vocabulary for stores, right? What are stores? Stores. Yeah. Uh -huh. Stores and shop, right? Uh -huh. So it's shop is a, i guess that shop sometimes i think is a little bit more more specific and smaller right and the store are larger okay bigger for example you have a shoe shop okay like a shoe store okay then you have a a, a bookstore or a bookshop okay these are places where we can buy or get uh, things where we can get some items for different for different purposes okay now let's see the the video here pay attention to the pronunciation to the vocabulary okay it's very short here we go Let's get started by listening and practice. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, good. Now listen again, just the stores. Let me One. see here. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two. You can buy bread at a supermarket. Three. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five. You can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. Seven. You can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like to do is For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion board. Okay, good. Good. Okay, what are some other things that we can share your that we can get? For example, you can pay bills at a bank, you can buy shoes at a department store. What are the other things that we can do in different places? For example, you can buy medicine at the uh, at the supermarket, for example. You can buy medicine at the supermarket. 
not uh, probably not specific or very sophisticated medicine, but general medicine, right? Aspirins, uh, as an amino uh, uh, syrup for the cough, or when you have sore throat problem, Panadol, stuff like that, you can get at the supermarket. Okay. Uh, what about you can buy pupusas where? At a restaurant, right? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. yes teacher. You can buy pupusas. Oh, uh -huh. I would say pupusas is very specific. But in some restaurants, they also sell uh, pupusas, right? Uh, what else? What is something else that we need to, to know about it here? Um, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, how do you say ferreteria in English? Hardware store. Hardware store. Let's see. Uh -huh. um, you can buy tools in a hard hardware store. That's correct. Exactly, that's correct. Are okay. there discussion stores? Hardware. Okay, there you go. In the chat, you can see hardware store, right? This is a place where you can buy where you can buy uh, parts for the to repair the house tools to repair a car, okay? When you need to fix something in your house, you go to a hardware store. Hardware store, okay. And you can buy hammers, screws, many things. Okay, for example, you can buy milk at a supermarket, you can buy pants at a department store, you can buy a hamburger at a restaurant, and she can buy a dress at a department store. You can take soda in a restaurant, or supermarket, you can drink, you can buy food at a supermarket, you can tie, you can buy a tie at a department store, you can pay your taxes at the bank, you can pay the purchase at the checkout mm -hmm. counter, you can pay in a bank, you can buy a dress in a store, you can buy at the pharmacy, you can buy the Harry Potter saga, in a bookstore, yes, you can buy a USB memory in a tech store, mm -hmm. okay, if you can buy shoes in a Licious store, uh, you can buy pizza at the restaurant, you can buy a room in the hotel, you can uh, rent a room in a hotel, you can buy clothes in the mail, uh, online, right, you can buy clothes online, and you can buy mango in the street, or in the market, okay? Mango twist, right? Okay, very good. So then these are some of the things that, that we can buy. Está temblando. Eso le voy a preguntar yo para saber si era, para hacer un sondeo. Sí, está temblando. Está temblando, sí. Ha hecho mucho, <laughs> ha hecho mucho calor todo el día. Sí. Un calor increíble. Hasta el internet ha estado fallando como, de manera increíble. Es cierto. ¿Están, ¿Están todos bien? ¿Todo seguro? Aquí no se, se sintió suave, pero me sedito. ¿Todo, eh, bien? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo, todo, bien? todo bien, teacher. Ok. Gracias, teacher. So, solo asustados, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> a veces asustan. Todo bien, gracias. Okay. No nos va a sacar del salón. Sí. No, <risa> no por favor les pregunto, ¿están todo bien? Si no, pues pueden salir un momentito. Ok. <risa> Que, como dicen, va que el coronavirus nos mete a todos y los, y los, ¿cómo se llama? Y los temblores nos sacan a todos. Sí. That's El Salvador. Okay, good. All right, so then uh, we have, we say, where is uh, Jim going to buy at the swimsuit? Okay, we're going to take a look at these questions. Okay. Uh, Karen, can you read the questions? Only the questions. Um, Here. Where is Jen? Where is uh, Where is he hand? Go, I'm going to buy the wi wins, swimsuit. 
things that, that she needs. Okay. Two. Uh, what does a mom need from the supermarket? Okay. Three. What does a that, that need from the grocery store? Number four. Where it, where is where is night might might where is not where is my going to go with this that with his that okay now the answer for these four four questions okay is in this listening okay now pay okay. attention and after we're going to answer the question okay oops sorry it's this one here. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A, listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you gonna go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm gonna go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay, good. What do we have in the person? Where is Jean going to buy the suit that she needs? At, at the department store. Department store. Department store. Yes. Okay. What does a man need to? What does a man need from the supermarket? Cookies for the search. The cookies for the search. Cookies for the search. Okay. What does dad need from the drugstore? Aspirin. 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 And where is Mike going to go with his dad? To the drugstore uh, and the drug to store. get the to newspaper. Get the okay. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. So answers. All of them are correct. Okay, at the department store. Cookies for dessert at the supermarket. Aspirin. They said we're uh, to the drugstore to get a newspaper, and that's it. Yes. ¿Qué significa dessert? Postre. Oh, okay. And this one, where is it? Okay, here. Right? 
Eh, esta es la otra que es desierto también. Ok, very good. Okay. The uh, next one is about compound nouns. But before, before we go to the compound nouns, okay, before we go to the compound nouns, we're going to have some practice, right? For example, uh, here we're gonna use where, Can I get, you can ask, you can use this question to ask here in the group and practice vocabulary, right? For example, where can I get uh, some uh, nice, let's say pupusas or delicious pupusas? Look in the chat, there is a question. You can write questions there if you want. Uh, we can ask, where can I get some nice pupusas? A recommendation? Pupuseria Patty in the planes. Okay, very good. Okay, then you can get pupusas at Pupuseria Patty in the planes. Okay, that's good. Uh, where can I get uh, some, uh, let's say, uh, some clothes for children in these days? Where can I get some clothes for children? Any recommendation? Could be, for example, Amazon online, right? Not the pupusas, okay, the clothes. Okay, Amazon online. What else? What else? What else? Ask questions. You can ask questions. I am preguntas. Oh, eBay. Yes. eBay also is a good place to buy in this moment some clothes. And I think it's cheaper, right? What else? Where can I buy an airplane ticket from here to from here to Argentina? Uh, Avianca. Avianca. Airline. Airline. Avianca Airline. Okay. Good. Is it possible to fly? Yes, Avianca. That would be one. What else? Come on, people. I don't know. There's no problem. Mm -hmm. yes, teacher, right. in, in this case, it would be like travel shop. Travel agency. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, it's an agency, yes. Travel agency. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, for example, where can I buy a, a ticket? You can buy it at the travel agency. Call a travel agency. Okay, go to a travel agency. Okay, contact, contact a travel agency. Okay, where can I get a nice pizza? Uh -huh, people, where can I, uh, Sarah is asking, where can I get a nice pizza? Papa John. Ah, Papa John. Papa John. La pizzeria Italia. Yes. La clásica en Santa Tecla. Yes. Charlie, yeah. Charlie Boy, Charlie Boy, is it good? Uh, well, maybe. Um, uh, pizzeria La Clásica in Santa Tecla. Okay, good. Another one is, where can I get a ticket for, con for a concert? For a concert. Ticket for a concert, maybe. In uh, total tickets. Total tickets. Tall 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 tickets. Tall tickets. Can go to call ticket, right? Uh, where can I buy some? Uh, let me see some uh, some uh, 
some e uh, some good earphones. Where can I buy earphones? On his depot. Ah, oh, on Zona Digital también. Okay, Digital Zone, Zona Digital, Office Depot. Okay, very good. Okay, so you see, this is how you can, uh, where can I get some cakes? Cakes? And Anybody no. here? Nobody here can make cakes? En la tecleña. <laughs> la tecleña, yes. In this group, maybe somebody selling cakes. Elsie's cake. Elsie's cake, yes. right? El Rosario. El Rosario, El Rosario, right? Bam Bam in Santa Ana. Bam Bam also, yes. Well, there is one here in, in Lourdes too, there is one Bam Bam. Chess Andre. Chess Andre. Oh, yeah, those say that they are good. Right? Yes, that's good. The Neveria. Okay, uh -huh, La Neveria too. Yes, so ice cream. A good one too. But in sub so, so, uh, if it is just uh, something quickly, uh, the supermarkets also, they sell some. Uh, small cakes. Okay, good. Uh, this one, convenience store. Okay, what can we get? What can we get uh, at a convenience store? What is a convenience store? Anybody? Super seven. Uh -huh. Super seven, right? The, these stores are usually uh, on the road or in the gas station, right? For example, Super 7, then you have a uh, on the run. Okay, on the run. Pronto. And? Pronto. 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 Station 1. Uh -huh, yes, okay. So in these places, you can buy food, snacks, uh, drinks, sodas, uh, juice whatever all kind of drinks in some in some convenience store they have drug stores right okay you can buy medicine and you can buy uh, there are there is a little bank also right there are banks there is a small area for a bank where you can pay bills you can get money okay they have automa automatic tellers okay automatic tellers, cajeros uh, automáticos, right? And all these things you can get at the gas station too. Okay, what else? What else, what else can we get? Okay, we have this one. Okay, so here it says, by the end of this class, we will learn to sound natural when saying compound nouns. Okay, let's see what the compounds nouns are. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. 
Stress in words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Coffee shop, gas station, On nouns, post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. I would like to start off by Okay, so here we have the post office, and they post stuff. Post office, gas station, one S, right, gas station. Then we have a uh, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, so we have the department store. Explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stress in words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office. Okay, post. If you see the first, el fuerte uh, va en la primera. Post office. Post office. Gas station. Gas station. Gas station. Restroom. Rest. Coffee shop. Say rest. Room, coffee shop, drugstore, drugstore, supermarket, books, supermarket, bookstore, store, department store. Now it's your turn to practice. What I would like for you to do next is to practice these compound nouns and record yourself using the website bookroo.com. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, and you can also use your, your cell phone, right? You know that in order to practice the pronunciation. Eh, alguna palabra que les... Supermarket. Que les suene difícil? No? In the department store. The department store. Uh, the department store. Department store. Department store. Uh-huh. Department store. Okay. 
Let's say department store. De una sola vez. Department store. Department store. Ajá. Exacto. Department store. Teacher. Uh, Ajá. Yes. Rest, restroom. Uh, la pronunciación. Restroom. Mucho. Restroom. 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 Okay, say it this. Yes, this is. No, okay, repeat a little. Restroom. Restroom. Sí. No Restroom. Le haga, no le haga mucha fuerza a la T al final. Restroom. 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 Ajá, yes. uh -huh. restroom. There you go. Restroom. El de la farmacia, teacher. Eh, drugstore. Drugstore. Drugs. Ajá. Uh -huh. Drugstore. 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 Gracias. Ok. Si ven, todos estos son para place. Right? Son para places. Puede haber, por ejemplo, para alguien, para una persona, se puede decir drug addict. Drug addict. Drug addict. It's a drug addict. Ok. Entonces, a, adicto a las drogas. Esa sería una persona. Pero es que son, no, eh, es a compound noun. Son nombres compuestos de dos sustantivos, right? Good. Okay. Here. Hey, let me see now. Here we have a... Uh, Cristina, Cristina, can you please read this uh, objective here? Uh, by the end of this class, you will learn prepositions of place, of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. Prepositions of place, okay? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm, I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On on the corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now, and let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. 
the bank is between the department store and the restaurant on the images you can see the meaning of each preposition let's analyze the preposition on we will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street if we take a look at the map on the screen I'll make more examples using the preposition on Gus gas station Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Where is the hospital? Where is the U.S. post office? Where is Second Avenue bookstore? Where is Dam's drugstore? After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Yes, it's across from the park. You now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Okay. Questions? About the prepositions. You can see, for example, there are five words but you have to uh, place yourself like if you are inside the map, right? Corner of, across from, next to, between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. And let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images you can see the meaning and the restaurant. Okay, if you see here, for example, this is where you can practice how to give direction or at least you know that reference. Okay, uh, if you see, where is Citibank? Donde está el Citibank? It's on Main Street. 
It's on Main Street. Ajá, uh -huh. it's on Main Street, ok. On Main Street es una forma de decirlo, pero es bien general, right? It's on Main Street. Como la calle tengo. Es como que les pregunté, uh, where is, uh, for example, where is, uh, eh, what is this? Torre Cuscatlán. Where is la Torre Cuscatlán? Here in San Salvador. The, the Crosser Street. Street. It's on Los Crosser on Los Boulevard. Right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's on the corner of Los Crosser Boulevard and Albert Einstein Street. Okay. Uh, next to University Uca. <laughs> uh, not exactly next to, but I say near, near, right? For example, next to is like this one. Look, the bank and the department store next to. But across the Uca could be across from. Across from is estar en frente de, right? Y está enfrente. No. Está como un costado, ¿verdad? Sí. Right. Ajá, so then should be, should be near, cerca de la boca, or next to, podríamos decir, la, la, la calle los divide. Ok. But if you see here, for okay. example, next to, across from Pizza Hut, I guess. Hay una Pizza Hut in the corner, remember? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, this is across. Ajá, across. Right. Okay, that's uh, the Torre Cuscatán, and across from Torre Cuscatán, you can see uh, Pizza Hut Station, I guess. It's a Pizza Hut Station, <coughs> because it's not a restaurant. Okay, uh, and here you can see the department store is next to the city bank. Okay, for example, on Main Street, we have the city, ba uh, the city bank, the department store, and... Okay, I found this on the web for Play Department Store. Check it out. <laughs> okay. And then we have, what is this? Restaurant, right? Restaurant. Maria, Maria's Restaurant. Okay, we have Maria's Restaurant, Citibank, and department store, and the park and the Regency Movie Theater. These five places, one, two, three, four, five, are on Main, on Main Street. Okay, the park is across from the department store, is across from the movie, Regency Movie Theater, okay? But the department store is next to the Citibank. The Citibank is next to Maria's restaurant. And the city bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Okay? Okay. On the images, you can see the. So here you have, for example, on, you see, on. Meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. We will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Okay. Now let me give... When we use on, we only say one street, right? on Main Street. When we use on the corner of, we use on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue, the name of the two streets. 
Okay. Remember this. A couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. Okay. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. For example, try to answer the following questions using prepositions. Where is Gus's gas station? Okay, where is Gus's station? Where is Gus's, sta Gus's station? The First Avenue. It's on the corner. It is on the corner, the first Avenue on Center Street. And Center Street, okay. It's on the corner of First Avenue and Center Street. Where is the hospital? I don't see uh, What is the hospital? In Center on Street. Mm -hmm. On in Center Street. Yes, this one. Which is the hospital? This one. Well, it's on the corner of Center Street. Oh, it's on the corner in Center Street and Second Avenue. And Second Avenue, okay. And where is the U.S. Post Office? What is the post office? I think it's this one, right? It's on corner um, the center of the street. And? And um, second across, avenue. Across. Uh, across from across the from. <laughs> Okay. What is second avenue bookstore? Where is second avenue bookstore? And Second Avenue, uh -huh. but on the corner, on the, the corner, the corner, Second Avenue, and Main Street. Okay, and Main Street. This is, you know, something that we have to, uh, okay, that you have to practice for tomorrow also. Okay, here we can see the drugstore. The post office, the second avenue, what? Bookstore, ah, oh, this is a bookstore. Okay, this is a shoe store. Then we have a supermarket, okay? And practice. Remember that here, the important thing is how we locate ourselves in the map, okay? Okay. That would be very important. Okay, prepositions. Okay, but tomorrow, remember, practice the vocabulary from section two, because we are going to, to have an oral practice at the beginning. And I will show you some uh, short, very short videos, two, three minutes, about sore, pain, and hurt, okay? Okay, okay everybody, so have a very good night. Hoy no fuimos good seguido. night, teacher. Hoy tuvimos problemas con internet, temblor, y Good night, pain. teacher. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Yeah.